like to use drones to capture videos of the places that I go and the things that I do. They can pretty much make any video more interesting. Not to mention how fun they are to fly, but drones are complex and expensive. The Mavic Air 2 costs $1,139. The Mavic 2 Pro is $2,179. And the Phantom 4 V2 is roughly $2,100. So when my Phantom 3 broke on me just last week, I was pretty upset. Here's some footage before the drone broke. And here is some footage after the drone broke. Not so good. This is what broke on my drone. No, not the camera. This tiny little part Right, one tiny motor is not working. The yaw motor in the gimbal. A motor that according to the DJI website costs only $12. And so I figured with $50 at most in labor, I'd be looking at a $60 repair and I'd be back in the air in no time. But it's not quite so simple. In the world of drones, this five-year-old Phantom is almost an antique. And because it's so old, it's very difficult to find parts for it. The nearest place that said they had the part that I needed to fix this drone is in Toronto, and I live in Calgary. And labor is also more expensive than I thought. On DJI's website, the going rate for an hour of labor is about 80 Canadian dollars. It became pretty clear that it was almost better to invest in a newer, more powerful drone than to bother salvaging the old drone. But why don't we add it all up just to see how expensive it could be to fix this one motor right here. First is the shipping cost. The safest bag to use is likely gonna be my backpack. Now this bag fits the drone perfectly, but it's not exactly compact and it's not exactly lightweight. I can take out the extra two batteries to save a bit on weight, but even then, it still weighs about five kilograms. The round trip shipping cost to get the drone there and back safely is gonna be about $140. Once the drone arrives, the first thing they'll do is run diagnostics. According to their terms of service, this is a minimum of a $49 charge. Then there's the part itself. $12 on the DJI website, but probably more expensive here in Canada. Let's say $20 for the new yaw motor. Next up is labor. DJI's website says 80 Canadian dollars an hour, so we can assume that that's a fair price. I can't see why this repair would ever take longer than one hour, but I'm relying on one big assumption here, and that is that the yaw motor is the only thing that's broken. It's totally possible that something else is broken. And not only would the cost of the parts add up, but so would the labor especially to install those parts. And I can't know exactly what needs doing until I've already shipped it to them and I'm already $120 deep into the shipping cost and the diagnostics test. So the total cost estimate of $300 doesn't really say much until I know exactly what needs to be done. So in conclusion, this $12 motor broke, and the repair will be at least $300. That is why I hate my drone. I like drones too much to give up on them, but I'm very angry how the logistics of this repair make it a several hundred dollar investment back into an old piece of tech. Perhaps my viewers can enlighten me in the comments. Is there a better way to replace this drone? Is DJI the company that I should be loyal to? Is there someone you know who could fix this for me for cheap? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please be sure to like and share. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. And keep flying and keep on hiking. Thanks for watching.